What's up, Raptors fans? Welcome to the Warriors Report. It's time to talk about Fred Van Vliet. Now, Fred Van Vliet, who's been the topic of discussion this offseason, there's been a lot of talk about whether he can be the point guard of the future for the Raptors, whether he's a natural point guard or we should play him at that shooting guard position. Now, Fred Van Vliet, who's actually getting quite a bit of hate after that Chicago Bulls game, we need to talk a little about him, a little bit about him and whether or not some of the hate is justified, whether he's getting too much hate. I do want to touch on some statistics as well. So before we get into the details of this video, if you guys do want to give this video a thumbs up, it does help reach more basketball fans like yourself. And if you want to hit the subscribe button as well, that'd be absolutely amazing. And I also do give out shout outs on this channel to random subscribers. So for today's video, the shout out goes to Alfred Wong. So Alfred Wong was the first person to get my trivia question correct, which was which of these players has won the NBA dunk contest as a Raptor and T Ross was the correct answer. So Alfred, thank you so much for supporting this channel through your likes and comments. It is very much appreciated. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Now Fred Van Vliet actually had himself a really impressive game against the Chicago Bulls. He had 15 points, 6 rebounds, and a career-high 16 assists. He was really playing the point guard position well. I thought he was getting everyone involved. Now, he did make some questionable passes, which ultimately led to 8 turnovers, which was a hot topic about whether or not Fred Van Lee is the point guard for the Raptors. That's been a that's been a hot topic this entire offseason, and whether or not he's a natural point guard position or we should play him at the shooting guard position. And there's been some absolutely ridiculous takes after that game against the Chicago Bulls. I mean, we know he ended up missing the game winning or or I should say game tying shot over Nikola Vucevic, but look. We know the Chicago Bulls are a very fast team. They've got Alex Caruso. They've got Zach Levine, Lonzo Ball, DeMar DeRozan, who are very well capable of giving you two, three steals per game. So I think, look, some of those turnovers were bad, but ultimately I'd rather have Fred Van Lee take that shot rather than try to pass it out and turn it over. So I'd rather live with someone like Fred Van Lee trying to take a shot rather than trying to create a play and turning the ball over to end the game. So it is what it is. I did like what he was doing in facilitating. He was getting his teammates involved. He was finding OG and Anobi for some nice cuts, for some nice passes. And look, there's been a lot of terrible, terrible takes after that game. There's been these crazy Stephen A. Smith type of reactions. And there's been a lot of fans saying, look, we should just start Delano Banton and that Fred Van Lee should not be making $20 million. But we do need to realize, with all due respect to the Raptors organization, not a lot of players are lining up to come to the Raptors. So who are you going to give those $20 million to? I think Fred Van Lee, despite the struggles, we need to realize that it will take him time to adjust to that role. No player is born into a role and it perfects that role perfectly right off the bat. So I think we need a little bit of patience with Fred Van Lee. But we do need to talk about some of his struggles as well. Now, it is one thing to criticize a player. It's another to absolutely say ridiculous things like he should not be on this team. Now, Fred Van Vliet for the season, this has been a big issue with him. We know his shooting has always been a struggle in terms of finishing at the rim, but just shooting from the field. But what's been a little bit troublesome is that three-point percentage. Now, you take a look there. He is shooting 22.2% from the field, from the three-point mark. But look... We are four games into the season. I don't want to overreact, and we need to be patient as Raptors fans. As I said, guys, there's been a lot of new roles, and Fred Van Lee is one of them, playing the point guard position. And there's been, like, Kerry Trent Jr., too. Although he's played a decent amount of games last season with the Raptors, he's still kind of learning the system, and he has to learn to not jack up shots. So the players are adjusting to each other. Ojo Nanobi is adjusting as the number one option on offense, so it's going to take time. And it's not the best way to start the season one and three, but we do need to be a little bit patient. We need to let guys like Fred Van Vliet grow into that point guard role. And we keep talking about Kyle Lowry, but people need to realize that Kyle Lowry at one point was shooting, had the worst shooting percentage in playoff history. So for Kyle Lowry, you may love him for who he is today, but he wasn't always that player. It takes time to grow into that role. And we need to be patient with Fred Van Vliet. And look, I want to show you this next screen here because... And I'm not comparing the two players because Damian Lillard is obviously the superior offensive player compared to Fred Van Vliet. But look at Damian Lillard's stat. He's shooting 36%. He's averaging only 17 points. And he's shooting 8.3% from the three. But again, guys, this is what I want to emphasize so much on these overreactions. He's also played three games. So the Raptors have played four games. We're also without our leading scorer. So it's going to take time. It's going to be some frustrating losses. And we've still got a lot of depth. It's going to take time. We need to preach some more patience. We've got a long way to go. 
and I think it's fair to evaluate maybe after 15, 20 games, it is a little bit early to be throwing these knee-jerk reactions, having these crazy, you know, Stephen A. Smith reactions, I like to call them, of overreacting after every play, after every game. So we need a little bit of patience. We need to realize that not having our leading scorer in Pascal Siakam is definitely impacting our offense a lot. I mean, take any leading scorer off of any team. Take example for Boston. What is Boston without Jason Tatum? And I'm not comparing Jason to Pascal Siakam, but just in terms of taking the leading score off any team. What's the, what are the Warriors without Stephen Curry, right? So we need a little bit of patience with the Raptors. It is a frustrating start, and I understand that fans are on the edge, especially with the season we had last season. We're not used to losing, so it is very frustrating to see the Raptors start the season this way. But we need a little bit more patience, guys. So have some patience. That's all I'll say. Create some patience and have some faith in our players, right? Give them time to develop into the players. And have faith in Fred Van Vliet. His three-point shot is going to get a lot better. All right, guys. So I'm done ranting. I do want to give you my trivia question for today's video. And that is, which player has played the most games for the Raptors? Is that A, DeMar DeRozan, B, Chris Bosh, C, Kyle Lowry, or D, Morris Peterson? So the first person to answer this correctly in the comment section below gets a shout out in my next video guys so make sure to answer this correctly make sure to answer it quickly before someone else gets to it and as promised guys i will be providing bonus clips so for today's bonus clip it is it's kind of sad to see but it's also encouraging to see because it's malachi flynn who has gotten three minutes in uh, the four games we've played so three minutes was that one game where he got garbage minute time but it's malachi flynn taking some shots after the chicago bulls game so it's great to see it's encouraging signs to see and hopefully we uh hopefully we free malachi flynn and get some minutes but uh, thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you guys have yourselves a great day